Have you ever wondered how our cars, routers, printers, media players, etc. transfer the data across the network? Hey guys, I'm Heyman. In this video, I'll be talking about the curl command with example. End of this video, you'll be understanding the basic use of curl and probably by using the curl, you can innovate something. Alright guys, so the curl is a very powerful tool uh, which is used for transferring data across the network using various protocols and it works seamlessly across all the operating systems. You can execute it simply by using command line tools or just write a script and execute it. That's why IoT is heavily dependent on this curl. Okay, now let's see how to use the curl. First check if you have curl installed in your system by simply typing curl hyphen hyphen help. Okay, so modern versions of OS X and almost all the Linux distributions come with curl command by default. But for the Windows, you can simply download curl executable files from here or you can download git bash which would provide curl along with the whole bunch of commands. And if curl is not installed in your Mac, then you can simply type brew install curl. Alright guys, first thing first, we'll check whether curl is present in my system. For that, I'll just use curl hyphen hyphen help. If it comes something like this, that means curl is present in your system also. Okay guys, now let's go ahead and see how to play with REST API through curl. In this video, I'm gonna use this JSON uh, placeholder, which is very powerful online uh, fake REST API, mainly used for, you know, prototyping and testing purpose. So these are the resources JSON placeholder provides. Let's make a get request with the user resource from the command line now. In order to make get request, you need to simply type curl and then resource URL name. Here in this case, I have already copied that URL. So I'm just going to paste it and hit enter. And we get the response from user resource. Okay, now if you want to get the response headers along with the data, then you have to use hyphen small i. Remember that small i is mandatory, followed by the resource URL and hit enter. There we go. We got the response headers along with the data. Okay, now if you want to get the response headers information only, not the data, then you have to use hyphen capital I. Okay, we got only response headers information, not the data. Okay, instead of using hyphen capital I to get the response headers only, you may want to use hyphen hyphen head. Both are the same thing. Alright guys, now let's create a record with the help of REST API. First, let's fetch at least one record so that we'll know about the fields where we have to, you know, input the value. Okay, if you see user ID, ID, title, body, these are the fields post resource support. Okay, guys, I'll be making post requests in simple text format first, then later we'll be seeing in the JSON format. Okay, guys, remember that hyphen capital X denotes the request. Whenever you are making some request, then you have to use hyphen capital X. Hyphen small d represents the data. When you are transferring the data to the server, then you have to use this hyphen small d. Okay guys, now I'm gonna create a record having user id, title and body. If you notice here, I have separated these fields by ampersand sign. After that, you have to provide the resource URL where you want to create the record. For my case, post is the resource and I have already copied the resource. So I'm just gonna paste that and enter. Since it's a dummy REST API for testing purpose, it will not actually create a record in the DB guys. So we're just returning the response which we submitted just now. Alright guys, now let's make a post request where data contains in JSON format. For that little tweak we need to do is that we need to set the header like application hyphen JSON. You need to remember this thing and hyphen H is used for the headers. All right, guys, now we are ready to send the data in the JSON format. So we'll be preparing the JSON format. Okay. Body colon, please like and subscribe and stay connected. Resource URL, enter. Guys, same as post request, you can make put and patch request. I'm not gonna explain the difference between both of these, but I can give you a hint. So the hint is both methods used for updating values. I'm just making the request silently and you have to observe the difference and let me know in the comment section below guys. Hit enter. Now this is the put request. Let's look at the patch request. Alrighty. Enter. Okay. 
all right guys this is how you play with the rest api now let's see how you can download files okay i'm gonna create a directory go into the directory curl okay guys, now i'm gonna download all contents in this curl directory okay guys curl hyphen small o and the custom file name download post.txt followed by the url post resource all right guys if you notice here we use hyphen small o so whenever you want to download some content from the server within the specified file name then you have to use hyphen small o all right guys let's look at the demo hit enter and now this file content has been downloaded to the download post.txt let's do ls okay so now we have downloaded post.txt let's look at the content here it is if you notice here all the content from the post resource is copied here in the download post.txt all right guys if you want to download the content or file with original name then you have to use hyphen capital o okay hit enter file is downloaded let's do ls and if you notice here post is the result of hyphen capital o all right guys let's do cd post it's not a directory it is actually a file just not having an extension here's the content all right guys so similarly you can download any file so let's try to download an image i'm just trying to find an image so that i can copy the path let's copy the path of it and similarly curl hyphen capital o followed by the image path hit enter download if you see this dot jpg file just got downloaded let's verify it open dot here it is just double click on it this is the file we just downloaded okay now sometimes you want to check the response from some domain or url okay first let's take an example of http google.com okay as an end user we are expecting it to provide response as html page but instead it's giving something like this it's happening because when we are hitting http google.com it gets redirected to http www.google.com and our above command is not returning the response from the redirected url to solve this we need to use hyphen capital l followed by url google.com hit enter here's the response now if you see the redirected url response is also coming if you want to analyze all the actions and connection details including tls handshake you can use hyphen small v google.com here you can see we have the response along with all the actions taken place to establish the connection it's a very good tool for troubleshooting some issue related to the connection explore connected <laughs> tls handshake client hello client server encrypted certified so these are the certification related actions if you see if you have uh, some certificate related issue you can easily troubleshoot from here so <laughs> blah blah ssl certificate verified okay so after completing all the actions we got the response all right guys if you want to learn more about the curl in detail then you can use curl hyphen hyphen manual command and here you'll be finding all the commands with explanation so you can use that and apply it according to your need you can also use man curl command to explore more about the curl commands that's it for today guys i hope you like this video if you have any query and suggestions please comment it down below i'll be happy to reply if you like this video please don't forget to click on like button and if you are new to the channel consider subscribing till then bye bye see you in the next video